Nature's fury, surviving the unexpected, the earth, beautiful, powerful, unforgiving. From serene forests to raging hurricanes, nature demands respect. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and floods test human resilience. Survival isn't luck, it's knowledge, preparation, and grit. Natural disasters strike suddenly, but with the right information, survival is possible. Think of it like navigating uncharted territory. Understand the terrain, anticipate dangers, and have the tools to make it through. Here are seven effective ways to survive natural disasters. The Earth Moves Finding safety in an earthquake, the ground begins to tremble, then the shaking intensifies, furniture rattles, pictures fall from walls, panic sets in, your first priority, find cover. Now, forget running outside, look for sturdy furniture, a heavy table, a desk, and take shelter underneath. Stay low, protect your head and neck, and hold on tight. Stay put until the shaking stops. Once the tremors subside, carefully assess your surroundings. Remember, every earthquake is different. This isn't about luck, it's about preparation and knowing what to do. The earth may move, but your will to survive must remain unshaken. Weathering the storm, staying safe in a hurricane. The wind howls like a banshee, rain lashes against the windows, and the world outside is a blur of gray chaos. This is the fury of a hurricane. Survival here isn't about brute strength, it's about finding sanctuary and riding out the storm. Windows become deadly projectiles in hurricane force winds. Stay away from them. Move to the most interior room of your house, a basement, a closet, or a bathroom, preferably one without windows. These spaces offer the greatest protection from flying debris. Reinforce your safe room. If possible, board up windows with plywood or shutters. Gather blankets, pillows, and mattresses to create a buffer against potential impacts. Every layer of protection increases your chances of survival. Communication is vital. Keep a battery-powered radio or a fully charged cell phone handy to stay updated on the storm's progress and any emergency instructions. Information is your ally in this chaotic environment. Remember, hurricanes bring more than just wind. Flooding is a significant threat. Avoid low-lying areas and be prepared to move to higher ground if necessary. Water can rise rapidly and become deadly in an instant. Stock up on essential supplies, water, non-perishable food, a first aid kit, flashlights, and extra batteries are crucial. These supplies can mean the difference between comfort and desperation in the aftermath of the storm. Once the storm passes, don't let your guard down. Downed power lines, flooding, and debris create hazardous conditions. Stay indoors until authorities deem it safe to venture out. Rising waters, escaping the deluge. The rain falls relentlessly, rivers swell, and the ground disappears beneath a rising tide of brown water. This is the terrifying reality of a flood. Survival depends on swift action and a clear understanding of the danger. Your first priority is to reach higher ground. Don't underestimate the power of floodwaters. Even a seemingly shallow stream can sweep you off your feet. Move quickly and decisively to a higher elevation. Avoid driving through flooded areas cars can be easily swept away by the current. If you encounter a flooded road, turn around. It's better to be delayed than to risk your life. Be aware of hidden dangers. Floodwaters can conceal debris, down power lines, and open manholes. Proceed cautiously and use extreme care when navigating flooded areas. Every step matters. Stay informed. Monitor weather reports and heat evacuation warnings. Don't wait until it's too late. Time is of the essence in a flood situation. Every minute counts. Prepare your home. If you live in a flood-prone area, elevate valuable possessions and important documents. Consider installing flood barriers or sandbags to protect your property. Preparation is your first line of defense. Inferno, evading the wildfire's embrace. The air crackles with heat, the sky glows orange, and the roar of the flames grows closer. This is the terrifying reality of a wildfire. Survival depends on quick thinking and a deep understanding of fire's behavior, your primary objective is to evacuate the area immediately. Don't underestimate the speed at which a wildfire can spread. Follow evacuation orders promptly and don't look back. Be aware of the wind direction. Wildfires are driven by the wind and their path can change rapidly. Stay upwind of the fire to avoid being trapped by smoke and flames. Protect your airways. Smoke inhalation is a serious threat. If possible, wear a mask or cover your mouth and nose with a damp cloth. Create a defensible space around your home if evacuation isn't possible. Clear vegetation within a 100-foot radius of your house. Remove flammable materials from your yard and close all windows and vents. Stay informed. 
monitor news reports and emergency alerts for updates on the fire's progress and evacuation instructions. Have an evacuation plan. Know your evacuation routes and designated shelters. Pack an emergency kit with essential supplies, including water, food, medications, and clothing. If trapped by the fire, seek shelter in a cleared area or a body of water. Lie face down on the ground to protect your airways from smoke. Volcanic fury, breathing through the ash, the earth trembles, the sky darkens, and a plume of ash and smoke erupts into the atmosphere. This is the raw power of a volcanic eruption. Survival demands respect for nature's fury and a clear understanding of the dangers. Your primary concern is respiratory protection. Volcanic ash and gases can be extremely hazardous to your lungs. Wear a mask or respirator, or improvise with a damp cloth. Clean air is your lifeline. Evacuate if instructed. Follow official evacuation orders promptly, don't hesitate. Volcanic eruptions can be unpredictable and escalate rapidly. Time is of the essence. Protect your skin and eyes. Volcanic ash can cause irritation and burns. Wear long sleeved clothing, pants, and goggles or glasses. Clean water is essential for rinsing off ash. Seek shelter indoors if evacuation isn't possible. Close all windows and doors to keep ash out. Seal any cracks or openings with tape or damp cloths. Be aware of lahars. These are volcanic mud flows that can be extremely destructive. Avoid valleys and low-lying areas near the volcano. Stay informed. Monitor news reports and emergency alerts for updates on the eruption and any evacuation instructions. The receding tide, recognizing the tsunami's silent warning. The sea recedes dramatically, exposing the ocean floor. This isn't a miracle, it's a tsunami's silent warning. Survival depends on recognizing this sign and acting swiftly. If you see the sea withdraw rapidly, move to higher ground immediately. Don't wait for an official warning. Every second counts. High ground is your sanctuary. Move inland. Don't just go to the beach or a nearby pier. Tsunamis can travel far inland. Seek higher ground as far away from the coast as possible. Distance is your ally. If you're in a boat, head out to sea. Tsunamis are less dangerous in deep water. Once the immediate danger has passed, return cautiously to shore. The open ocean is your temporary refuge, be aware of aftershocks. Tsunamis are often caused by earthquakes. Aftershocks can trigger additional waves, remain vigilant and stay on high ground until authorities deem it safe to return. Stay informed. Monitor news reports and emergency alerts for tsunami warnings and evacuation instructions. Have an evacuation plan. Know your evacuation routes and designated shelters. The Lifeline Preparing Your Emergency Kit Natural disasters strike without warning. Being prepared isn't just smart, it's essential for survival. Your emergency kit is your lifeline in the chaos. Water is paramount. Include at least one gallon per person per day for three days. Store water in sealed containers and rotate your supply regularly. Hydration is key to survival. Non-perishable food is crucial. Stock up on canned goods, energy bars, and dried fruits. Choose foods that require no cooking or refrigeration. Nourishment sustains your strength. A first aid kit is essential. Include bandages, antiseptic wipes, pain relievers, and any personal medications. Being able to treat minor injuries can be life-saving. A flashlight and extra batteries are vital. Power outages are common after disasters. A reliable light source can provide comfort and safety. A hand crank radio is a lifeline to the outside world. Stay informed about emergency updates and evacuation orders. A multi-tool or Swiss Army knife can be invaluable. From opening cans to cutting rope, a versatile tool can be a game changer. Personal hygiene items are often overlooked, include toilet paper, soap, and hand sanitizer. Important documents should be kept in a waterproof bag. Outro The Strength of Humanity, Rebuilding and Recovering Natural disasters can be devastating but they also reveal the incredible resilience of the human spirit. We see neighbors helping neighbors, communities coming together, and individuals rising to the challenge. This is the strength of humanity. Natural disasters can come at any time, but it is possible to survive with the right preparation and knowledge. These seven vital rules aren't just guidelines, they're a roadmap to navigating the unpredictable terrain of natural disasters. They're about empowering you, about giving you the tools and knowledge you need to protect yourself and your loved ones. Knowing these seven vital rules can save your life. But more than that, they can give you the confidence to face the unknown, to emerge from the chaos stronger and more resilient than ever before. Remember, survival isn't about luck. It's about preparation, knowledge, and an unwavering will to live.